Welcome back to my cooking channel guys. So today I'm doing a curry chicken. Go ahead, please hit that subscribe button because a lot of you guys are asking me for this recipe. I've seen a lot of curry chicken online and you know, I don't know if it's the lighting or if it's just the recipe that you guys are following or I don't know, the phone, I don't know. But the pictures I'm seeing, they're not looking quite like curry. So I'm gonna give you guys some advice when you do curry. If you're not using the brand called Better Pack, add some turmeric to your curry because turmeric is the color in curry that's what give it that yellow that root turmeric it's very good so add some to your curry and anyway watch me and walk you guys through this recipe all right and again hit that subscribe button and stay tuned guys all right so i'll be doing some curry chicken today guys and this is the curry part i'm going to be using if you have better pack i recommend using better pack but if you don't have that i recommend just adding a tip of turmeric to your curry and you'll be all right all right so i'm using complete black pepper salt thyme tomato onion you know garlic pepper potatoes i got my chicken over here clean and ready to go so i'm gonna show you how i cut these veggies and how I go ahead and season my chicken for a nice curry chicken. All right, so this is everything I'm gonna be using for my curry chicken today, guys. It's all portioned out. So let's go ahead and start seasoning our chicken. All right, so we're gonna start off by adding some cooking oil, be vegetable oil, canola oil, olive oil. Don't really matter. It's just adding a little bit of oil to help hold the dry seasoning. Salt and pepper. your garlic and if you know you guys notice I'm using mostly fresh onions again I'm using fresh no onion powder no garlic powder nothing wrong with powder but I like to do fresh ingredients add my carrots and most people when they do curry chicken they don't add the curry to their veg they just curry the chicken then they add the veg after not me I add that curry flavor to everything I'm adding potatoes. All right. I'm gonna go ahead now and add some complete seasoning. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add my curry powder. I'm gonna get it over all of it. All right. And I always add up some turmeric when I do my curry. That helps with the color. Because if you guys all know, curry is a mixture of spices and turmeric is the color in curry. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and give us a nice rub. Give us other time too while we add it. Oh yeah, you can already smell that flavor. Smell that nice curry flavor already. All you do is now you season this and you could cook right away. You could just let it sit for a good 20, 30 minutes in your refrigerator and then you go. But unlike most meat, I gotta get marinated. Curry, you don't gotta let it sit overnight or for a crazy time. I still recommend let it sit for like 30 minutes though. But next time you see us back on, we're gonna be cooking. So we're just seasoning our curry chicken right now. All right, I wanted to take this time out to Huge shout out to all my subscribers. Those of you guys who've been sticking around from day one. My newest subscribers, welcome. We're gonna journey, guys. And why I just have to do curry chicken is I'm in a lot of food groups and I've seen some curry that they're saying it's the lighting, the color don't look right. They're saying it's the lighting. They're saying it's their phones. But I think when you do curry, you should have that nice, rich yellow vibrant color when you're cooking even if when you're marinating like now it's not there once the heat get to it you should have that all right so we're just waiting for this to get hot well it's hot enough now i'm going to add some oil just a little bit cover the bottom of the pan all right and smooth it around cover the bottom of your pan and guys i'm gonna show you what i do when i do curry I let it get hot and then I add some curry to the oil. All right. Now, some people say you got to burn the curry. What I'm doing right now is not necessarily burning the curry. 
I'm incorporating it in the oil. All right, that should be good enough. I'm incorporating this in the oil. So when the chicken and the veggies hit this, it's already getting that curry flavor infused. So now I'm to add my chicken. And you want to keep some of the fat on the chicken when you do curry. Not all of it, you want to take some off, leave some on. Start the thing. Alright, you get a little quick, you don't get splash. So get some chicken in here. When I do that, there's gonna cook turn, you don't want it to burn. Give him a quick turn, see that? Yeah, that's what you're looking for. I'm gonna get a nice thing on the outside. And I'm trying to do one all in one pot, so I'm gonna squeeze this bad boy in there. Yeah, I'm not trying to do two trips. So I'm gonna squeeze this bad boy right here. Alright, so now what you're gonna do with all of this is now you're just gonna add some water, or I'll say veggie stock, chicken stock, whatever you have. In this case, I'm adding water. And we're gonna set that aside once we all this we get both sides get a nice sear you're just gonna add it to it so you don't need so that's fine let's see if that's fine you just gotta keep rotating you don't want one side to burn see that's fine so we're almost there guys we're almost there we just gotta keep rotating these so you don't want to, you want a quick sear on the outside and then you want it to boil in the, in the curry gravy. Alrighty. So you see that bright yellow, that's the color you're looking for when you're doing curry. That's exactly what you're looking for guys. So now I went ahead and add like a cup of water to my veggies and the mix. I'm just going to dump that in. pepper not bell pepper my scotch bonnet pepper it's very hot me if i'm doing this for dinner for myself i will cut it up in it or i'll open it i'm not i'm just doing a demo for you guys but i wouldn't advise that so i would advise just leaving it in the hole like that all right if we cover this nope wrong one we cover this I'll be back when we're ready. All right, I'm bringing you guys up on close with this one so you guys could see. I'm not close to ready. I'm just giving you guys a quick little preview of what's going on. So we're gonna let that reduce and boil some more. Just keep an eye on it. You don't want it to reduce too much, but it's coming on quite fine, guys. All right, guys, we're ready. I'm about to turn this off right now. And that's our curry chicken, guys. Easy, nice recipe for a curry chicken. I'm gonna go ahead and plate up a ball of this. And my favorite to have this with is some white rice. All right, guys, we are ready. I'm about to turn this off right now. And that's our curry chicken, guys. Easy, nice recipe for a curry chicken. I'm gonna go ahead and plate up a ball of this. And my favorite to have this with is some white rice. 